or Yoder Leahy, who, good gracious, he's just trying to trip me up. And shout out to Amadeus as well, uh, stepping in last mo minute here, you know, as a player, uh, not as a player, but as an alternate commentator if needed this weekend. But Baskin right now already cooking with the Luigi zero to death. He had it, he just didn't commit. It's only gonna get 90. Oh no, right? What a consolation oh, prize. Man. I, I wish my consolation prize were th that great, but you know what? Don't matter. Yoderle, who might be able to fire back if he could just get a little bit started, and here we are. Got the Nair, got the Fair, and the Gyro. Started off with a quick 29. Nothing uh, too big, especially when you're dropping that stock. And yet, I know this matchup might be a rarity to some, but in Tri-State, we've got one of the best Luigi's in the world, and we've got the best Rob out there, right? Guy Guy and Zamba. Guy Guy historically has ran the table with Zamba until very recently where their set count is now just about even. Right? Luigi does incredibly well into this matchup because of the flexibility of his combo game. It's not just the zero to death, but almost any aerial can lead to death at almost any percent if the Luigi knows the route. Now, forget about the routes. It's about the shield pressure right now, but Yoder going ahead, flipping it on its head, and now back air, we're sending him out. Yeah, that landing back air, man, so active. He even covers air dodge, right? And a floaty character like Luigi just can't get out of the range from that close. So beautiful job from Yon... Yoder. From Yoder, Gosh. thank you. Hey, I got you. That my tag, that tag kind of crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. It's fantastic. But man, is it hard to pronounce in the moment as the dash attack comes out, the up smash to boot with the cyclone in the scramble to reset. Baskin able to hold on to his, or, so, or Yoder able to hold on to the advantage state. And now Baskin putting on some good chill pressure, but Yoder having the patience. Gets the snuff out and trying to get this kill off stage. I love that gyro threatening the uh, the hit to secure the land the ledge, but back air gonna secure it for uh, Baskin here. And so safe with Luigi, right? Just fantastic that this character has an easily accessible aerial kill button, right? Just to kind of swing with when they need it, right? It's that Mario Brother character classic. And now gonna find the potential combo. There was so much damage, but just a little delayed. He's still gonna pick it up, though. No. And there's one more read away from the stock in, but not gonna go for it. He had it there. Ritual, he's feeling the patience, you know? He's like, if I just take my time, don't throw away the stock, I still got it. And I think that's the idea here, but Yoder, Having that extra chance to, or sorry, Baskin having that extra chance to be in the game means that they could get that up smash, and now Yoder is put on notice. Yeah, but you down throw back air, that's gonna do it. Luigi can say, I can down throw you at that percent. You DI out, mm -hmm. I get back air. You DI in, I get Cyclone. Bob's your uncle, it's my game. If you get <laughs> hit by that plunger, guys, you can't just avoid getting grabbed by Luigi at zero anymore. Yeah. Or, right, people are like, oh, I just gotta avoid getting zero to death. F and I'm fine against this character. No, you're not. Luigi is just Kazuya. If Kazuya was a floaty plumber who was afraid of ghosts <laughs> and had a neutral game. This character is incredibly slept on in this meta again. That's my hot take in Ultimate. I think Luigi matches up very well against some of the top tiers. I think Plunger is a great tool to control space. And this character has some incredible f frame traps and one of the best combo games out there. Well, hey, Yoder, you know, out here to prove you right on that. And look at this, just utilizing Plunger and Fireball to kind of buy some space to get in. And now Baskin trying to use the Gyro to maintain some of the ground control. And I think that's kind of the important thing. You maintain that so you can't dash in. And then I got the forward air to go ahead and swipe you out. And the back air, right, just finding the ledge pressure. And Luigi too, right, because of that Plunger, can force you, lane you to kind of force either a jump or a roll from ledge pretty consistently and has great ledge trapping plus early stocks if he can find that jump punch not able to do so there but i like that yoder is keeping that move in mind not just as a combo finisher but also just as an explosive early cheese option yep and ooh, the karate chop from yoder to go ahead get back off of ledge but all the same baskin has locked him down don't matter down throw cyclone as you said gotta be worried about that plunger and now the up uh, Tilt, not gonna find its mark, not just a fast match, but the air dodge coming out. Unfortunately though, Yoder got caught panicking a little bit and Baskin able to find that back air again. Look for the gyro combo into the z grab, but Yin, Luigi actually has an incredibly easy zero to death off gyro. Yoder not quite having that one unlocked though, so Baskin getting a little bit of extra mileage. Yeah, still though, 80%. 
Up till up B, almost killing, but that uppercut not quite strong enough on PS2. And look at that, the laser trying to scope out a jump. Baskin starting to try to slow it down, but Yoder has just done such a good job bobbing and weaving in. I like the downfall, I like the pressure, finding the forward air, looking for just the chase, but going for a rising neutral air there is not going to be safe because Luigi's head off that up smash, right? Completely invulnerable. So not only does this character have a combo game, not only do they have tools to wall you out, they also have a great boxing panic option. Yep, and look at that. Baskin starting to call out these Cyclones and really putting Yoder on notice on top of those platforms. Looking for the back air again, but this time Yoder getting the call out on it. Uh, Luigi just also, uh, that drift is so good. He can faint you out, find his way back in Yin, as now it's just Baskin trying to find anything, looking for a cheeky little rotor arm. But again, with how wide PS2 is, that wouldn't have even killed without Rage. And now you're getting caught on the Cyclone and the Reversal just to put you in the corner. A terrifying positioning for Luigi, but when you get too comfortable, you start to go on the autopilot, you pick a predictable role, and Baskin's gonna pick that tech chase up. Yes, ma'am, and look at that. The down tilt just to get a little Bologna bit of extra damage Bologna. there. Ooh, you gotta be careful playing against Rob off stage. And you know what? Baskin being a little bit off again on that downer might be able to see that timing come through in later games, but now not getting it. Well, it's the misfire, right? You got that one yep. and six. If he had to throw out a second one, which he would have to recover otherwise, I. Yoda, I th or Baskin, sorry, was looking for that to just close out the game. He got a little lucky, you know, as Luigi has that X Factor in his back pocket and the down throw Cyclone as well for the consistency. You see Baskin doing an expert job avoiding these grabs at low percent, but the second he gets up there towards the end game, my friend, I gotta he's just say, forgetting about it. Yoda's got some nice hair, by the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just full volume. I love that. <laughs> sorry. You, you used to have that <laughs> hairstyle too, right? Yeah, I did. I did. Then I've started growing it out. I might need to, you know, he's making me think I need to cut it back down shorter, you know, get yeah, that mean, volume. Bro, I was going to say, so the, beautiful. the hair drip as well. Look at that fade. Oh, my god! Look at the fade. Look at it. It's so tight. Yoder came in and... <laughs> I, I love the... the Yo, I mean, only. Yoder came in and came out swinging with the gyro. Dude. Double toss, zero to death potentially, but just Basket? not going to find it because of how wide PS2 is. Yin, he had it, but this saved so much space to cover that it just wasn't enough. Yeah, Yoder, you know, scary position to be in, made it through, thankfully for him, and that beautiful hair. Baskin, though, wanting to shut it down and keep moving on into loser's top 16. All the pressure from that down air to get the momentum stop, drift back to change it for safe shield pressure was such a smart mix-up from Baskin. Tried to find the zero to death, but just a little bit slow. It meant the shield came out because of that 22% rage, right? Uh, he had the extra time and now trying to find the reset, but finding the second spike that would have comboed into the jump punch. So now having to find the grab into the potential cyclone, didn't like it. And yeah, now Baskin able to hold on. What an explosive start to game number three for him. Oh yeah, Baskin all of a sudden coming alive. And now down throw Cyclone, the tried and true from Yoder Lee, who getting that kill. And only 48% 40 worse for wear, not too shabby. Yeah, y Yoder here just trying to find it when it matters most. Lock down the 3-0 because again, right, he's seen these sets either go 3-0 game five. Nobody's been taking these game four wins. So he knows he's either going to close it out here or he's in for the long haul. But these Cyclones out of disadvantage have been so textbook, right? Always finding them just before landing. So he gets that earlier invulnerability that the aerial version has compared to the grounded one. Oh, and look at that. The double down tilt. Amazing move for uh, Rob, of course, to go ahead and just keep consistent damage. Now Baskin trying to stall just to avoid the ledge trapping and the back air securing it now. Yeah, my friend, that bear has been Baskin's lifeblood, right? Almost yep. every stock he's taken this tournament off that move. Looking for the up tilt super jump punch, but the platform being a little higher here on PS2 meant that that put it in a tech situation and saved him. The Forder, though, gonna get beat out because of the aerial cyclone invulnerability. Luigi has that insane defense and in that situation and now Baskin is trying to just hold on because he knows the second this stock goes away in, you're one grab away from the game ending. Yeah, and Yoder really trying to force the kill with some of these headbutts, but unable to. And now down throw, getting the up air, not a full confirm. And now that up smash coming through for Yoder. As mentioned, that move has been a best friend to him. Hold on, Yin, 56%. Yoder here trying to bait, like, keep himself on the yep. inner edge because you go past that, you don't really have the space to confirm the zero to death anymore. He was fishing it for it here. Now it's 
five with 89%. You don't have it, so just going to take the gyro to try and get a mix up, try and get some positioning. Manages to do so, but Baskin able to get out of the scramble and continue his momentum in this game. Yeah, but Yoder really trying to lock it down and keep it a nice quick 3 0. You don't want to let Baskin get any momentum, and that gyro, though, keeping him off stage and securing the kill as there was no double jump and just pushed him a little too far. I really want to want to look at just, you know, honestly, before the kills here, just watch out where, obviously we saw the downhill, but I want to point out, look at where he is standing. It's yeah. right that outer edge compared to Luigi. Luigi can't jump in at you. He can't find an aerial at all, he, unless it's a rising one, at which point Rob just dashes back and punishes you for landing on that platform. It's a beautiful positioning that we've seen the gyro and the down tilt to control the pace of play. It's completely locked down Yoder in that game, and the question is how can he adapt here in game number four? You know what? Here's the adaptation. We just combo more 59-62 in, in 10 seconds. Yeah, yeah, and that motor arm finding just enough spacing for that jump punch on reaction to just not close out. Look for the back air to cover high. What a read idea. But if he had just set up the down air, it would have worked out with a stock in his favor instead. So unfortunately, the chips came up red when he put him down on black. But Baskin still keeping this one competitive and really waking up from the first two games of this set. Yeah, and Yoder getting that dash attack to whip punish, really looking to make this Little upset here, and you know what? A big move for the tournament if he can. Doesn't quite get that uppercut. That would have been a stock guaranteed, but don't matter. We run it back, baby. I was going to say the momentum plus the drip, the DI was so good from Baskin there because it forced the cross up with the platform right there. The positioning had to be so incredibly precise. And now just the forward air box you away. You have to either go for the jump, expend all your resources. Unfortunately, though, Baskin just not going to be aggressive enough with the down air to give Yoder this extra chance he needs, but still not able to get off the ledge. Now you have to contest Gyro again somehow found a way back regardless and huge damage off it too this is an absolutely insane reversal gets the 71 percent almost takes that laser to the dome but you know what finds his way around it and now avoiding that el diablo back air once but not twice yeah my friend you know they say insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results well you know what sometimes it pays off to be a little bit nuts right baskin mm -hmm. doing that fantastic job here on this rocky road as now he finds the pressure but the cyclone gonna scoop him right up he still doesn't have the lead and is once again getting down throw hey he finally avoided the cyclone but he forgot what he got hit by the very first time back air baby it is a killer move but you know what, speaking of killers, Baskin throwing out that rotor arm, not quite able to secure it, but it don't matter, you still got the offstage, oh, no. and that's gonna do it. No, double jump saved. He was close enough, because one of the things with Luigi, Baskin could literally just drift down there, body block that green missile early, yep. and it would kill him. And then he can burn a boost back to stage but he hasn't been looking for it. A lot of players forget about that against Luigi because they're so scared of this character on stage that they take, say, oh, hey, we just need to ledge trap him or get him on the linear route afterwards. You can just body block this guy, guys. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. But you know what, gyro in hand, scary opportunity, but Yoder just throwing it, trying to buy some space. And Baskin, you know what, taking that in spades and pushing it to the brink. Down tilt, not quite able to get the grab, though. Yeah, and right, you're looking for either the tech chase there or just kind of not a buffered option afterwards. But Yoder bet on himself, and it paid off to what you have to do when you're trying to close out the set, right? And especially with the lead, but you're gonna go to game five because you got caught by the back air again. It's been working for Baskin from start to end, win or lose, and Yoder just really has not had an answer. Dude, Baskin starting to heat up in this game three, game four, and all of a sudden, we're on the verge of a possible reverse 3-0, but the last time we saw that, you know what happened the lockdown from Isaiah, and now it's Yoder's turn to go ahead, lock down, and show what's up. Yeah, the question is, right, is Rob gonna, well, rob him? Or <laughs> is Luigi gonna be number one, right? That's what we're looking for here in game number five. Only one of these players is gonna make it into loser's side, right? Moving on forward. Again, we have, after this, the zero oh. to death coming up, and Yoder's trying to make sure it's him because the other one's gonna go home. In that do or die moment, Yoder clutches it up and gets the first zero to death that we've seen this whole set, normally opting for just the guaranteed damage and pushing it to about 90. And now, though, 
Baskin trying to force it to the ledge and maybe get a nice early rotor arm. Misses on the Nair, though, due to the shield. But back air. He thought he had an answer again, and he, he thought it was hold shield. But guess what? He just held it neutrally. He didn't sh sh angle yep. it up and in. So because of how small it was, it poked anyways and still killed. That is the important thing. You've got to be ready to mo mobilize that shield to hopefully help avoid a shield poke. But right now, up B, still not going to do it, of course. Raw being a much bigger character than most of the cast. And now, though, got that Nair with the gyro as well to secure space. And because of that platform up top, right, there is literally nowhere you can go to get away from it. It's a beautiful little trap set up by Baskin. But... Yoder has been so good at finding this pressure out of disadvantage, not even back to neutral, but he's just looking for reversals left, right, and center. That's really been one of his big X factors. Yeah, and Yoder finds the grab. Could this be a kill right here? No, Baskin SEIing out of that. And now Yoder going to be outside of that typical kill range for that upbeat. Yeah, there's a couple different ways that you can SDI the Luigi's ear to death again, and, and they can all be reacted to, but Yoder just wasn't on lock, and not only didn't lock down the SDI reaction, but he didn't lock down to make sure he didn't roll into that F smash. So now, Baskin, one stock away from converting this reverse 3-0. Yoder trying to hold on, and I think, again, whatever player wins, we're gonna see a pop-off here. Oh, 100%, the nerves, the tension in the air, you could cut through it with a knife. Baskin, though, getting caught with the F tilt, hold up, down, down throw. throw. No, not confirming into what he needed there, but 90%. This is starting to get into that Cyclone range. Forget the Cyclone. It's about the uppercut. Luigi, quick stand-up from Yoder. I was going to say, good. that stand-up into, into the immediate blink three times. Oh, wait, you're, you're holding out the handshake firm. Yeah, yeah. You can tell not only <laughs> did he relief, but you can tell just how locked in he was. Yoder, by the thinnest of margins, in held on to that victory, right? He was up 2-0. Baskin locked in himself and started to claw it back. But when it mattered most, right, Yoder had done, did a great, or so Baskin did a great job avoiding the grabs, right, that were costing him stock and stock again. But he forgot, Yin, up till jump punch is what took the second stock of this whole yep. set. And now, it's what me was the difference between Yoder moving on and Baskin heading home. That being said, Ed, I do think we both, that we should jump to a quick ad break, I believe, because we've got some fantastic sponsors here to help make this event happen. And one of them, Yin, are the folks we have here on Ultimate oh. Production, House of 3000, and they're New York City's, and frankly,